Welcome back to PA Live. Christopher Vernon is back to highlight his top film picks of 2022. You know him from the movie Meow, and he's back today. Christopher, welcome. Hey, guys. Thank you for having so, me back. TGIF. TGIF. <laughs> there have been so many good movies this year. I've seen a handful of the ones you've picked today, but I'm so excited to dive in. Before we start, do you have a favorite movie of the year? I was going to ask <laughs> you guys There's that. only six days already. No, last year. <laughs> 22. It's a, we put, we'll come back at the end she of the segment. She knows I don't watch. <laughs> Let's if begin. I have a favorite Dateline episode, a favorite, you know, TV show? Like reality. FBI Maybe. on CBS. FBI? Okay. We can inspire you with some movie picks right now. First, <laughs> I want to talk Blonde. This was huge. Marilyn Monroe, a biopic. What were your thoughts? Because the internet was kind of back and forth. It's interesting that you just said that. I loved Blonde. I don't know what all the hate was about. Huh. Um, I think what really hurt this movie, number one, was it's NC-17 rated. Okay. So once you're slapped with that, it's kind of like, you know, the scarlet letter of film. Um, so there definitely are complaints by women on this one, just that Marilyn was abused, in a sense, by the filmmaker. But I just thought it was so artsy-fartsy and just a beautifully shot film. And Ana de Armas was gorgeous. I mean, she really gave one of the best of the performances of the year. I haven't heard that take much, you know, like we said, so I'll be curious to kind of revisit it now. But you before should. we move on, your thoughts on theatrical releases versus streaming releases. How does it change your moviegoer experience? That's, that's interesting because, I mean, just a year ago or, you know, two years ago, yeah. everything was about the big screen and the movies. Huge. But now the money is getting dumped into TV productions and streaming services. So mm -hmm. really there's not much difference in terms of quality. Um, I think it's pretty on par, equal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nice. Interesting to think about. Okay, moving on, I also want to talk Empire of... I still of can't think of one movie I saw <laughs> oh, last come on. Keep thinking, yeah. keep thinking. <laughs> we want to talk Empire of Light. This one, not many people might have heard of. It wasn't so big on, on our minds. So give us a quick synopsis and then your thoughts. I am so upset that this movie did not blow up. This is like an yeah. um, award-winning film dream of for people. Mm -hmm. um, Olivia Coleman, I'm just in love with her. I could marry her today and I would live <laughs> happily ever after. She is my favorite actress right now in Hollywood. And she is a woman dealing with mental illness, um, which I have a family member that is, so I know how important it is to shed light on that. She's just so strong and moving, and this was one of the most beautifully shot films of the entire year. Wow, I beautiful. was just in love with this film. It's a captivating trailer. I remember seeing it when I was... It was very was... ambiguous. Yeah, so I think maybe that stopped me from seeing it, but again, a good review that kind you, of tilts uh, us in the it other It was direction. my number two favorite of the year, so nice. you should really give it a whirl. I love it. <laughs> What's next? Okay, we want to switch gears now a little bit of a different, maybe heavier topic with Till. This is... Kind of like Killjoy content, it's a tough movie to watch, but an important one to watch. Tell us why. Absolutely. I, I shamefully didn't really know much about this story until mm -hmm. watching the film, so I got an education. Um, it happened about 60 years ago. This is a real story, and it was so tender. Um, the boy in this movie, Emmett Till, mm -hmm. was such a joy. He was so infectious. You just want to pinch his chubby cheeks. <laughs> and the mother, I'm hoping she's nominated for an Oscar here in a, in a few weeks because she was phenomenal, Daniel Deadweiler. Really really an important what film in history. I think everyone should really see it, even yeah. in schools. Yeah, I think you nailed it on the head when you said I didn't know much about it because I didn't either. And then it takes sometimes a big budget movie like this to mm -hmm. get historical things like this in our curriculums, like yeah. you said. So that's a really interesting piece of it. And you know what is always, it, it tricks you when you see a movie with like the name Smile. Mm -hmm. And you think like, <laughs> oh, let's go see it. Well, th that doesn't look that inviting. It is not a Disney <laughs> film, that's for sure. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> the marketing for this film was brilliant. I don't know if you guys remember when this came Huge. out. There were people smiling at sporting events and on Good Morning America. It was such a cheap, innovative way to really blow up this film. And it did. It made over 200,000 or 200 million. Um, so this was one of the biggest horror films of the year, and rightfully so, because it was super duper creepy. And I just <laughs> love this one. And not a PG-13. This was a regular R-rated. This was R-rated. You remember that? Absolutely. I do remember that. <laughs> yes, that made this one. Another R rating, I believe, is She Said, which I did see and I thought it was phenomenal. But I mean, talk about Killjoy content. This also wasn't easy to sit through, Absolutely. but important. Tell me more. Oh, She Said is, um, again, in my top 10 of the year. Um, really in the right hands, this film. And also, again, such an important film, especially for not just women, but men, w men that love women. Yep. It could happen to anybody. Um, and this Hi, movie just it raised the hair on your arms how disgusting somebody can actually be in the workplace mm -hmm. um, when someone is in power. 
So yeah, definitely an inspiring film to really learn your voice yep. and feel powerful behind it. I think seeing the response of women who have seen this and seen themselves in some of the characters, both the empowered journalists who fought to tell the story, but also some of the women who were harassed and abused by Harvey Weinstein. I mean, Absolutely. it's sad how common it is, but again, making it part of the cultural conversation with big budget films like this. Yeah. People is forget this is what actually inspired the, the whole Me huge. Too movement. Absolutely. Remind so us where major. we can get more movie meow meow. <laughs> 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 yeah, give us your yeah. meow. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's in the newspaper every Friday in the Times Leader and on Facebook. Um, I'm, I'm constantly releasing it, uh, reviews, but every Friday in the newspaper. Amazing. Absolutely. Thank Did you, so you come much up for with a movie yet? Oh, yeah. Terrifier, too. Oh, oh, okay. I didn't see that one. I saw yeah. part one. <laughs> I have to see that. Guys, don't watch it if you have a, a easy stomach. Uh, oh, absolutely. Yeah, so.